for sure it's been a while but we're back looking at CEI the price of the stock right now is $1.22 so it really hasn't gone down too much since the last time that we looked at it the question is though where could we be going into the future because you will see realistically from the lows in the past month this stock is up from there you know we went down to the 90 cent range for some time but now we are coming back for sure we are dropping by a further 6.15 percent today but the question going forward is what are we going to be seeing and of course, I am not a financial advisor. This is not advice. It's just my personal views, thoughts, and opinions. But I will be sharing all of my views with you in this video. Like I said, I'm not a professional. Do not follow me. And do remember this stock carries extreme risk. But if you do like what you see in the video, make sure to leave a like in it, of course. And do subscribe. All of your subscriptions do help us massively. And we are flying, almost touching 13K right now. So thank you for that. The third thing that I want to mention is the fact that we are doing a fundraiser right now for say the children we're coming up to $300 let's try to get to $300 raised by the end of the week 100% of the proceeds by the way do go to save the children but now I've said that we're going to jump into this video and where I'm going to start us off is the same place as always on the very simple and easy to understand chart now the one day for this time period will show us that we are falling and how this one has happened is actually becoming more and more steep towards the end of day so really it's not too bad overall falling by about eight cent but again it is still equating to 6.15 percent now you will see in the morning up until a point of about you know 10 40 i would say we were quite stable on the stock in the i would say the high 10 uh, sorry the high one dollar uh, 20 range so for example we have sat on the 127 to 128 range for some time coming down to 126 for a moment and then really we fell off this cliff coming down to 124 fair enough we had some consolidation in that range for a few hours this took us up until one o'clock maybe even half past one and from that point you will see we had our second dip now this took us to our lows of the day it took us down to the 120 mark exactly and from there we had a little bit of a bounce up to 123 but from there we continued to fall down and we then went to a low again which was not the low of the day but was definitely on the same level you will see that was back at 120 and again from that point we did drop again one more once more to 120 and then we came back towards the end of day finishing at 122 so a mixed day overall but it was a red day this comes after a red week if you'd have bought this stock on tuesday of last week you would be down significantly as it has fallen from a price of 138 and even in the past month it has been dropping as i did mention now from these highs we are down significantly but do remember that from the lows we are still up which is a good thing and the six month chart you will see how this stock has been moving yeah we had that massive spike up and i was very very apprehensive about this stock and i still am to be honest but i think right now we are becoming you know we get into a more strong position as time does go on so what i want to do now is look at the technical indicators on both the one day five day and also on the one month and then we'll talk about where i think we could be going with this stock into the future so when we come out to the one day we can see a few things are clear we are seeing this kind of barcoding action for a lot of the day but yeah we are sat on the moving average again we haven't really moved too much since about two o'clock so we definitely have had the time to catch up on the one day this is something that you would expect so it is fairly normal you can see that the rsi for this time period is also looking fairly good at 47 bear in mind 50 is neutral so this is where we want to be as well and i'm very happy with that come out to the past month and you will see uh, the indicators are looking a bit different though we sat at an RSI figure of 43, which is also a little bit low, but not too bad at all because, like I said, 50 is neutral, so we're not too far from that. Now, what is interesting is that the 50 day moving average is actually crossing higher than the share price, so we definitely have crossed over that. And we're coming below it right now. And the trend for the MACD, which is something that I like to look at, is still bearish, but you will see it's not as bearish as it once was, and it does look like it could be leveling out right now. So my question for the stock is, where do we go right now? Now, it is going to be a gamble either way, and of course, it always has been with this stock. It always has been a relatively high-risk stock, and I have said that from the beginning. But now we are definitely starting to see this one level out. My question is, are we going to see it move up in the near future? It definitely is hard to say, but a few things that I like to look at for the stock include volume, and volume figure for today of was about 46.54 million this is compared to the prior trading day at 29 million and the day before that at 58 so from friday our volume is up which is very good ultimately we want to see volume continue to rise into the next week because you will remember that volume does show that people are still trading the stock it shows that people are also continuing to buy the stock hopefully so we want to see that buy volume continue to rise into the stock but i think what we are seeing right now We've probably come into the bottom with CEI, I would like to say. Again, from where we were, even before this initial jump, we're not too far off that. So I think, yes, this definitely could be the bottom, as now more people do know about the stock. 
My question though, like I said, is where do we go now with this stock? I will be giving you guys updates in the next couple of days, but tell me where you think this company is going. I want to hear your opinions of where the charts are going for the stock, but thank you for watching this video. I'll see you all again tomorrow. So thank you for watching through till the end, but let me tell you about our Discord. So on your screen you will be seeing the N2S Finance Discord, obviously it is split into multiple sections, basically at the top we have updates from me and all that kind of good stuff, if you scroll down a bit further we have the main sections where we focus on cryptos, specs and other hot stocks including penny stocks, even stable growth stocks as well and we even have a special AMC GME chat. If you scroll down you can see some research and DD from the community, we also have funny memes and you can see actual contributions from many members down here and again if you do join us it is a completely free link is down below but if you do want to become a patreon you will actually get a pink uh, sticker which will be displayed on your name so your name will come up in pink as mine comes up in red down here and that will show that you are a patreon but other than that guys you can join completely for free down below you do not have to pay anything if you do not want to thank you for watching see you soon